Um, hello. Welcome back. It's been a hot minute, and today we're going to be reacting to Gate Zero made by Bible X Games. It's a Kickstarter launch trailer for a Christian video game. I have no idea what I'm about to watch. As you know, I'm a student pastor. I'm very critical of Christian content because most of the time it sucks. And so although I'm a Christian, I'm going to be brutally honest with this review. Okay, let's dive right in. What if you could be right there when he flipped the tables in the temple? Are you looking for someone? Yes, young man, we are looking for our son. What if he could help his parents when he went missing in Jerusalem? He told me it's very important to take good care of the land from an early... Find the priest robes in the Roman quarter, avoid the guard. So this is like an RPG. Who do you play as? Who do you play as? Also... I... What if you could be right there when he flipped the tables in the temple? Theoretically, you can. I know this is not the point they're making, but you can. It's in the Gospels. Flip the tables. You can go there. You can read about it. It's right there. Are you looking for someone? Yes, young man. We are looking for our son. What if he could help his parents when he went missing in Jerusalem? He told me it's very important to take good care of the land from an early age. I wonder if this is made in Unreal. Because it doesn't look like it is. And if it is, it just has like, it has an odd aesthetic to it. Unreal tends to look a lot more polished or clean. This looks like the grass texture here just looks, it looks very like, I don't know, RuneScape 3 or old school RuneScape type. Um, the concept is cool. The concept is cool. I'm assuming you get to play through Jesus' time in ministry. And so that's it's a cool concept. He told me it's very important to take good care of the land from an early age. It's the Messiah. What do you want me to do with this man? One thing I notice, and again, this could just be this could just be the way that this is designed. They're all white. Um like if we want to talk about like very basic historical things that we want to get right. Um yeah. Gate Zero is what it's called. Gate Zero is a video game that takes you back to the source of Christianity, to first century Israel. You play as a teenager from the fictional dystopian world of 2072. You will travel back in time to unlock the age-old secrets of your late grandmother's mysterious pearl. You will find yourself in the living, breathing world of ancient Israel in a society on the brink of upheaval. Interesting. So you play as a kid in 2072 or whatever, and I guess you find the Bible and are like, what is this? And so instead of reading it, you travel in time back to when it happened. Mother's mysterious pearl. You will find yourself in the living, breathing world of ancient Israel in a society on the brink of upheaval. And you can explore all you want, interact with familiar characters, and experience the gospel. We are finally going to get rid of these miserable Romans. Peter, how dare you? Um, okay, interesting. Stories firsthand. I'm very curious to know what the dialogue is going to look like in this game. Um, also, where is Jesus in this shot? I'm assuming he's eating here. I just don't know where he's at. But you will not always have me. Oh, this is Jesus. Okay. Here with you. I'm Arba, producer and game designer at BCC Media. I am they use an Unreal? It's hard to tell. I'm not a game designer. I don't know what this is. Meta, art director for Gay Zero. For the past three years, we've been traveling around to interview youth ministry workers and gaming communities. We built a team of passionate developers who have worked on AAA games like Assassin's Creed and Battlefield. We've made use of the latest gaming technology out there like Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so it is Unreal. And we've created a prototype that's been tested by thousands of young people. I have seen I have seen the prototype. I've seen the there was a stream I think yesterday, recently, where someone was playing through it. Maybe I'll go watch that to get a, a bigger picture 
of what of what this is. The cool things I'll note, it's cool that it's a small team. It's cool that it's an indie game. And it's cool that they're doing a lot of research with young people and and with like with youth people, um, youth workers. My concern is what the purpose behind this game is. Like, what is the point? Is this a missional game in the sense of this is meant to reach non-Christians who can play the game and maybe experience what it was like and potentially offer them the opportunity to come to know Jesus? Is this is this an evangelistic thing? Or is this something that's specifically for Christian gamers? Is this a thing where it's like, hey, we know that, you know, the world is full of sin and video games the way that they're at right now are bad, Let's make a Christian game. I don't know what the purpose is. And I think that would help me better understand and and hopefully be a little more gracious towards their end goal here. Engine 5, and we've created a prototype that's been tested by thousands of young people. And the feedback from our social community. Okay, some of this looks like real footage, right? So like obviously the ones with Bible X in it look like real footage. I think I've used some of this stock footage before, though. Community has been unbelievable. This demo totally blew my expectations out of the water. I thought they did amazing on everything. We highly respect historical and biblical accuracy, and we spent countless of hours researching, studying, and also consulting with theologians and historians. After seeing this, you might ask, why are you guys here? Thank you. Well, let me answer that. Yes, Our come on. Our dream is to tell the stories of Jesus' life from his birth to death okay. in four game releases. Okay. Right now, we created a solid basis and we plan to go into full development to produce the first release of Jesus' stories. Share this project with your friends and family and be a part of a movement that's going to change lives. So th the answer to why are we doing this is why are we doing this? We want to make four games. It's not really an answer to why we're doing this. I think it's a cool thing. I'll be curious to see how it plays out. I love the intentionality that they're putting behind this. I'm just concerned that... I'm just concerned that they don't have a a driven goal or a driven purpose. So we'll see. We'll see. Do they have a release date? Gate zero. Looks like no planned release date. Um. Okay. Hey, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you planning on playing this game when it comes out? If it comes out, is this just like, what are we doing in the gaming community? Is this a cool advancement for Christians in a space where Christians normally are not? Or are we doing something that we need to keep our hands off of? Hey, let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts, your comments, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, take care and God bless.